I talk a lot about using things like omega-3 fatty acids, which have a cosinoids in them, or they're derived from a cosinoids. I can never spell a cosinoids. I have to look that word up all the time, and I'm not even sure I'm pronouncing it right. Well, I can't spell shit. <laughs> if I'm learning a new parasite that I've not heard before, um, I may sometimes end up butchering it until I am at a conference and I hear the person who named the parasite say it, and I'm like, oh, that's how you say that. Watch this tape a little longer and there'll be multitudes of examples that will reveal themselves to you. Most of the time I cannot pronounce the word entrepreneurial and I can never spell it. One of my favorite surgeries to perform is juvenile pubic symphysiadesis. Say that 10 times in one of my lectures. In class, I have to be really careful to like just turn around and start spelling something on the board because I'll always get somewhere in between there. Like something like, even though I study this one a lot and really find it fascinating, the meningeal worm Paralophostrongulus tenuis. If I try to start writing Paralophostrongulus, generally I get it, but every so often I'll get in the middle of it and I'm like, oh, what's the next letter? And then I'll just erase it and just write P tenuis. I can never spell the word ophthalmologist or ophthalmology correctly. I always have to Google search how to spell it before I copy and paste it into my discharges. Well, wait till you get to be my age, it will get much worse. There's an extra H in there somewhere. Where did that come from? I can remember when I first started in this profession, lavage, I didn't know how to pronounce that. Uh, related to, and now maybe I'm still not pronouncing it correctly. <laughs> I consider myself a pretty darn good surgeon, but I got a B in anatomy because doctor can't stand to ask you, Constantinescu, um, took off for spelling. So I got a B because I had such bad spelling, <laughs> even though everything was right.